As we grow older, we develop. Our brains adjust to the world around us and take in lots of new things. Things like intelligence, culture, and creativity. Creativity is something we all possess that has grown over time, and we especially have it more prominent around our childhood. Most of us, when we were younger, had childhood toys that helped captivate our creativity, and those childhood toys could range from non-electronic things like plush toys and Legos to electronic things like iPods and DSs. Personally, I had both types. I used to have Lego SpongeBob sets and made a whole Lego town. Every time I played with the Legos, I came up with some type of storyline while playing with them. And I owned a DSi and played tons of games on it too. Revisiting these old childhood toys gives you a great feel of nostalgia, and that's what I did. I cleaned my room a few weeks ago and rediscovered my old DSi. It was in a case that had all the old games I played but didn't have a charger. So I looked online to try to find one until a week ago when I went to this convention type place called Frankenstein's. Frankenstein's gives off a Comic Con type feel and is a great substitute to go to due to the closure of big events like Comic Con. They have tons of booths for pop figures, Legos, Disney pins, collectibles, and more, including tech like old DS games and chargers. I found a DSi charger for $10 and bought it. I tried it on my DSi and it worked. There are tons of nostalgic games to choose from, but the only one I remember most from playing on the Xbox 360 was the Toy Story 3 game. So I booted up the game on my DSi and started playing. The game takes place in the movie settings. It basically retells the story of Toy Story 3 and it lets you play as Woody and Buzz. Throughout the game, you have to collect tons of things like Pixar balls as coins and scale up your surroundings to collect power-ups to unlock new skills for Buzz and Woody to learn. Woody has skills like using his string to swing across items, and Buzz has skills like gliding to and from objects. But all in all, revisiting this old childhood game is really fun, and looking back at nostalgic things like your old childhood toys are a really great way to relive something that helped develop your creativity. Our past helped bring us here to where we are today, and always remember to stay creative.